Well, you know, if you were out today, you notice it was warm, it was humid, and then we saw those clouds start to billow up. And we've got some strong to severe storms in our area right now. We've had a, a pretty good cluster of them up near uh, the Rolla area, up around Dixon especially. That's where quite a few reports of hail maybe as large as tennis ball size fell about an hour to hour and a half ago. That storm has since faded away, but we still have one severe worn storm here in northern Polk County. Uh, you can see the core of that storm located just north of Bolivar, uh, tracking across Highway 13, and that's going to continue to head east. The forward motion about 40 miles per hour, and you can see the hail core located here to the north of Bolivar. Hail of at least quarter, maybe half dollar size with that cell. Looks like we've got another hail core here to the south of Humansville. And I want to point out another stronger storm also to the southwest, southeast of Arcola near Dadeville. That storm also likely producing some hail, maybe approaching quarter size. And that looks to track into uh, southwestern uh, Polk County and maybe, maybe northwestern most Greene County. You can see we've got one cluster of storms here. This is the cluster we were watching about an hour ago that, that was producing some hail in spots, especially Dixon. And now we have this line of storms along a cold front. Uh, these storms also haven't been moving terribly fast, especially the ones up around Dixon. And there has been rainfall of around two to three inches, which has fallen. That's prompted a flash flood warning for this area until 11 o'clock this evening. Now again, you could see where the cold front is, this sharp line right there, that cold front pressing into very, very unstable air, and that's what's helping to generate the storms. There's not a whole lot of wind energy to organize these storms, so it looks like uh, these storms will, will tend to be kept in check. A few of them, though, will become severe, maybe hail up to around ping pong ball size. Uh, also, we could see some locally strong wind gusts, maybe up to 60 miles per hour. Those appear to be the primary threats for at least the next several hours, but it's going to be kind of isolated in nature. Looking at our forecast, storms through 9 o'clock, gradually pushing south into northern Arkansas by midnight along that cold front and then pushing out of the area. And tomorrow morning, we wake up to quiet weather. It'll be cooler too, less humid. But warm and humid air will spread back in as a warm front surges back to the north. Looks like it'll be a quiet day during the day on Saturday. About 57 to start off with afternoon highs in the low to mid 80s. Now we get to Saturday night. And here comes the next wave of severe weather. The Storm Prediction Center really ramping up its outlook today for a moderate risk from Oklahoma into Kansas, extending east to about I-49. Uh, again, the concern is for not only a severe weather outbreak, but maybe some long-lived strong tornadoes toward the dry line over in Kansas and Oklahoma. For us, the uh, thinking from the Storm Prediction Center is that, well, you're going to see this develop into a squall line that presses east with a risk of damaging wind gusts, hail, maybe brief tornadoes. The track would tend to be towards southwest Missouri. But a lot of the model guidance is suggesting something else, and I think the ingredients uh, would point that, that those models have merit. We could see more of a complex develop up toward Topeka into the Kansas City area. That would push east-southeast, but focus closer to the I-70 corridor. So the bottom line is with these two scenarios is that there could be severe weather in our area. If that second idea, that more northerly idea bears out, then the risk would tend to be more towards central and northern Missouri overnight Saturday night. Any way this goes, though, we need to be weather prepared through the weekend, especially overnight Saturday night, given that it is an overnight event. Sunday afternoon, a few additional strong to severe storms possible, mainly north and east of Springfield, and then quieter weather returns by Memorial Day. Steve? All right, Jimmy. It has been nearly three years.